Happy Friday, everybody. Resale Rabbit here. So I've got some news. Tim officially comes back Monday. However, this is not going to be the last video you're going to see of me pulling orders because Thursday and Friday of next week, he's taking off. And when the stay at home order ended, it was very abrupt. So obviously he had plans. We were all expecting it to be a couple more weeks. Um, so Thursday and Friday of next week, I will be pulling orders yet, but then that's it. So that that's happening. We've got 13 sales here for 326. First, I took a low offer on this. It's the last one, eight bucks. Um, it probably expires soon. Oh no, 2023. The other ones are 2021. Anyways, I wanted to get rid of it. I got this for 2% of that at Shopco. So what's that? 40 cents. Next, I sold a case of 25 of those pink stylus pens. Next, I sold this dress barn orange pattern dress with stylish brown belt, as it's listed. It's folded over. It's a little longer. Um, but this sold uh, for 20 bucks. Retail is $44.95. Comes with the belt. And I have, I'm out of 2X, but I've got 1X. At least one in there I saw. My bad, that sold for 15. So next we're going to 1A4. That's going to be up here. We're looking for tone six. There we go. And this, I don't know what it sold for. One moment, sold for 16 bucks. For 12 bucks, I sold a pair of kids Wrangler shorts. That's going to be these ones. These are size 14 children's, sold for 12 bucks, paid 50 cents on a Target palette. Here's one, $20.50. That's going to be this. Now, so I have a big DVD collection. I've got a couple thousand DVDs at home. So I'm constantly buying large lots of DVDs for myself and selling some of them. One second, phone call. That was a trucking company that wanted to know if they can pick up two pallets with a transit van, like a van. I, I told her, no, we need something dock height, first of all, and I don't think they would fit in there. So anyways, DVD. Um, I buy large lots of DVDs, keep the ones that I want to add to my collection, sell the rest. I've got almost nothing invested in my collection of thousands of DVDs uh, by doing that. But anyways, this was one of them, and religious stuff typically does well so i figured i'd look it up uh ended up selling it for 20 bucks it sat online for a few months next sold another box of these stylus pens 34.99 now i sold down here size large in black and these sold to a viewer uh, for 19.99 says hey rabbit i've been a fan for a while thank you for the daily videos there's something i look forward to when i get home from working in the hospital if it isn't an issue, could I get a signed card? Absolutely, Liam. I appreciate the support. We'll get this shipped out to you with a signed card. Next, another viewer sale. I sold this loft polka dot dress. I've got a few more in stock. Uh, looks like I have two more in stock. Sold to a viewer for $30, bucks, twenty nine ninety nine. Uh, to Deb. She says, hi, Rabbit. You're very entertaining and interesting to watch. A viewer for months, but new to buying. Not going to lie, I had a hard time finding your eBay store. I kept looking for resale, Rabbit. Thanks for all you do. You have a very good work, work ethic. Sincerely, Deb. P.S. Would love one of your signed cards. Thanks, Deb. I appreciate the support. I will get a signed card shipped out. Um, yeah, a lot of people um, try looking up Resale Rabbit. Resale Rabbit is the YouTube channel. JLN Outlet, uh, spinoff of JLN Distributing, is the, uh, the actual business, which is why they have different names. Although someone did bring to my attention... Uh, sometime in the past couple of months that somebody created a, an eBay store called Resale Rabbit. My guess, and it's, you know, the stuff being sold is, looks like thrifted stuff. My guess is they're trying to capitalize on my channel on people who think that's me. It's not me. I have no idea who it is. Uh, but anyways, it's not like I can do much about it. I should have uh, created, it, it was created within the past couple of years. I should have created an eBay store with that name and just not even use it just so someone else can't but i mean what's stopping people from just doing resale rabbit one or resale rabbit resale or something like that so i suppose anyways so next sale for 31.98 we sold two 
of these. I can get them out. It's a little bit big to grab them both with one hand. These are the base layer pants. Next, 2214858 is what we're looking for. That should be it. Assuming it's a size 2X. I forgot to double check the size. Uh, let's see. Size 2X. And this sold to a viewer. Let's see if there's really two in here. We might have sold one at another point. It looks like it's just one. This is a romper. I can figure it out here. I think it's a romper. Yep. Pant legs. Uh, so this looks like the last one that I have. Obviously, that's empty now. And this sold to Allison who says, Hey, Resale Rabbit, I hope you and the missus are doing well. Really enjoy your videos. They help fill the time during our long New York City lockdown. Take care and stay safe. Allison, I appreciate the support. And hopefully, things start looking a little less dreary in the near future. Next sale we've got, all right, a size 2X, also a viewer sale. That's going to be one of those. This is a short sleeve denim button up shirt or jacket, whatever you want to call it. Westport is the brand. I've got two more in this size and then I've got more in other sizes as well. This sold to Jane. She says, thanks rabbit or is it Mr. Rabbit? I get both, so. Uh, she says, thanks to all you do. I love your wit and wisdom and sure will miss your daily discussion of life. Glad you will be back in business next week and your staff can get back to work. Many blessings as you go forward. Jane, Jane, I appreciate the support. And I hope you enjoy the jacket. One more sale. I did not check the price, uh, but it's these Rock Revival jeans. These came out of a storage unit, uh, three pairs. I'm assuming this is the right one. So we sold one of these a while ago for 50 uh, before I was filming when Tim was here, still here. Sold another one while I was filming. For some reason, I thought I only had two. So I just grabbed the first one I saw and shipped it out. Now that was probably a month ago and didn't have any returns or issues or anything. This is a size 36. So basically, size the, yep, those are the right ones. So I had a 50-50 chance of grabbing the right pair. And thankfully I did. Otherwise I would have had to cancel this one and the other person would have wanted a refund, but that probably would have been quite a while ago. So anyways, that is all of today's sales. I want to give a quick shout out here. I had a viewer, all right, one second. So anyways, I had a viewer buy one of those Crayola kits last week. Uh, she bought it for her two kids who watch my videos. So I wanted to give them a shout out. Uh, Willow, who's five, and Lincoln, who's seven, turns eight next month. So hi, Willow and Lincoln. Hope you enjoy the Crayola kit, and I appreciate you guys watching. Another one, this is actually a comment on one of my videos from Nancy. She says, hey, I bought the blue purple sweater and left a note on the offer, so you didn't see it, I guess. I'm the proud owner of the dust shoes, and I figured I'd try something in that doesn't contain rubber. If you remember, I sold some shoes. They were brand new, but I got them in a storage unit, and they completely disintegrated when the person put them on. The rubber must have just been dry rotted from sitting for so long. Anyways, she continues. Where was my spot? Uh, sucks that Tim isn't sure about coming back or not. Well, now he is, uh, but this was uh, Wednesday I saved this screenshot. Uh... I gotta stop interrupting the comment because I keep losing my spot. Uh, maybe we will still be seeing you for a while still. Our county in Nevada had no cases of COVID. Tesla and Panasonic mega factories are in the county. So we've been fighting to get our tourist town back again. Sincerely, mom of two poop heads and grandma of two grand poops and their poopy cats. Well, that was a poopy comment. So I, I appreciate the support um, and I hope you enjoy the sweater. I also have another comment on a video, Dina, and I actually recognize the name. She's bought from me a few times, I think, uh, but she said the uh, comment disappeared on the uh, eBay sale. She bought one of those black with the pink sash pajama bottoms. So I appreciate the support. She says, um, love them and have no doubt that your remarkable energy will transfer to me as I list in my normal listing apparel of pajama bottoms and a t-shirt. My listing output surely will soar. So Dina, I also appreciate the support. She said it was a couple weeks ago, so she likely has them by now. I hope you enjoy them. And uh, that's about all I've got. So we'll see if there's anything else to talk about today. 
Otherwise, this might be the end of the video. It might be a short one today or a long one. I really don't know. It could be a three minute video. It could be a 30 minute video at this point. There's no way for me to really know. Um, as far as other videos, like I said, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Tim will be here. So I'm not going to be shipping. Tim will be. And I'm not going to be. Like, some people have suggested that Tim should film it. And I can already tell you, he doesn't. He's not going to want to. But aside from that, I'm not going to ask him. Because remember, I said this doubles the amount of time that it takes to, to ship orders. If I had Tim doing that, that means my cost, um, on, on as far as paying him to do a job, would double. So it just doesn't make financial sense. Like I always say, my business comes before YouTube. But that doesn't mean there's not going to be any videos. I still do stuff and things. So, you know, as I go through pallets and storage units you know, and, and whatnots and what have yous, there will be videos. So I've got an interesting one here. This is just going to Ohio. It's not going far at all. Two pounds, 13 ounces. It says it's too heavy. Uh, won't give me a price because it says it's too heavy. If I go one pound, one ounce, I went just out of curiosity. It tries to say it's 41.90. I think this is a glitch with eBay here. I don't know what the issue is, but uh, I shipped it through pirate ship. It was 850. So that is it for today's video. I decided not to uh, ship anything else out. I had a few more come through. This is what Tim is going to see when he comes in to, on Monday. It's going to look so much different than when he left. And of course, it is going to be much better organized than when he left. And that's not a shot at him or anything. I basically reorganized the stuff that I had set up before he started to be more similar to how he organized it. Um, one thing we're going to do before he does any listing, I want to work on, I don't like this method. I don't like this method. It still takes too long to find stuff. So we're going to work on something. I'm thinking probably bagging them and finding boxes that fit on these shelves nicely. And I do have extras so I can put more shelves in if I need to. That way, um, you know, you might have 10 items in a box as opposed to that where you have 50 or 60 items to sift through. It's a lot easier that way, but we're going to figure that out because Dress Barn was, is a nightmare to try and find items, as you've probably seen in recent videos, especially up there. So by changing the system, something probably somewhat similar to what I did with these two, where it's a smaller amount per boxes. I even divided them so you have the rear and the front, something like that. Um, but we had 1,500 items from Dress Barn which is what made it an absolute nightmare. We've got 4,000 items coming in from Motherhood Maternity that will be listed over the next couple of months. So I would like to, uh, you know, 1,500 was tough. Imagine what's left of the 1,500, probably still like 800 to 1,000 items plus another 4,000. Yeah, we gotta do something about it. So that is the plan. And uh, I will see you guys probably late next week i need a break from youtube these daily videos are getting to me this morning i edited the wednesday and thursday video and it was a chore i really had to force myself to do it and then i completely forgot to even upload well i uploaded it but i, up, I always upload it as a private video first uh before i launch it i forgot to actually launch it until like the middle of the day it was like two o'clock when i finally launched it so i'm getting a little burnt out with YouTube. I haven't usually, I'm excited checking comments like right away within half an hour of launching a video. I haven't checked the comments yet. So I'm getting a little burnt out from these daily videos. So I'm thinking, unless I'm doing something specifically interesting, I'm gonna take a break until next Thursday, Tim's next day off. And um, then you'll see me then. Well, you'll actually see me Friday. I'll be filming Thursday. Uh, like I said, Tim is back Monday. He will be doing the shipping Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. He's going to be off Thursday and Friday, and then he is back on full time after that. So I'll see you in about a week. I think part of the reason is just because it's getting monotonous. It's the same thing every day. Here's what I sold. Let's go grab it. Here's what it is. Here's how much it is. I'm getting bored of it. Don't get me wrong. The videos, I'm not bored of YouTube. I think it's just the same exact video every day that I'm getting bored of. I want to go back to before the shutdown, where it might not be every day I was doing a video, but every video was at least somewhat different. It's a little more fun that way. All right, anyways.